Sandera sitting in for Yvonne Okwara Matole. Let's begin with the top story tonight where four people were found murdered in unclear circumstances in Nairobi's Madari area. Nairobi police commander says the killings are political but not ethnically charged. Hussein Mohammed begins the program tonight. <laughs> Sunday morning at Riverside Ruaraka, and residents woke up to the smell of tear gas. Groups of young men would start to barricade the outer ring road and Kayobangi road about. They would burn tires and engage the police officers in running battles. Three public service vehicles are torched, two Nissans and a bus. Ian Karaoke looks closely at his vehicle, now reduced to ashes. They were lucky to have escaped before it was torched. Walikuwa wameketi hapo tu majama kama miya moja. Mtu wa kwanza akaguja, akagonga gari kwa widi screen. Ikagonga hadi kontakta. Mimi nikijaribu kugeuza gari ni rudi munafona imelala hivo. Ni rudi, nikaona bado jamaa wanaguja na ma, na mawe. Sasa ikamidi nikambia kontakta hapa ni no, ni noma. Kwa hivo tufanya nini, tukimbia tuokoe maisha. Frustrations and anger would reveal the unanswered questions, the pain of residents here. It is claimed that six people have been killed, but when we arrived early morning, we counted four. This woman says her friend is among the dead. Two of the bodies that we saw had gunshot wounds. One was that of a woman. As the news spreads to the rest of the country, different narratives begin to go around as to who is behind the murders. Okay, I think it's political. I think ni mamuna siyasa kubuni mungiki. But kushuku isada walikuwa na populisa pamoja. Saki vipi le siyasa mingilia wapi? Siyasa. Okay, kuna hii ishu wana samangati ni wana samangati. Okay, na yu hapa tuko mix. Kuna kikuyu na kuna kikuyu na kuna pia wa NASA. By midday, Nairobi police chief Japheth Kome holds a press conference. He is quick to dismiss the narratives of ethnic cleansing. What we've done, the strategy we've put in place is to announce police presence, patrols within uh, that area. The of Madare, area 4, area 2, the of Madare, uh, Babadrogo. But we like to ask our people not um, to cause unnecessary uh, panic because there are those who have already we are aware started inciting communities against other communities sisi mara kwanza atuko take it serious we thought it's just normal then as we pia siku mimi na mwepia we had to scan another another noise tena but yara kishini toke nje mungiki wanatooa hapa so tukatoka kwa balcony Kutoka bali kwa mtoka fungwa ni, kwa fungwa ya tuka kuja huku wenga simu. Kwa sibui, tapata bodies ngini zime, wila meulewa hapa. Na wila ngini meulewa pale kwa kijiji wa wili, na mngine pia meulewa huku huku ndani. With many here to politics, opposition and NASA leader Raila Odinga arrives at the slums before lunchtime. At the heart of the demonstrations down the bridge between Kariobangi and Osops. Raila Odinga and his entourage are led to the crime scene. One body is still lying on the ground. As angry residents engage police officers, Mother MP Anthony Oloch and Standard Newspaper photojournalist Bevlin Musili are injured in the chaos. This breed is seen to be at the center of two communities, Mother North and Riverside, and is seen by many as a hope of unity and a way of bearing the scars of conflict witnessed since 2007. But in moments of political uncertainty, the breed becomes more of a division than a unifier. From Babadogo to Madare to reported clashes in Kawangware, the chaos witnessed today is another restless moment for Kenyans. This as they wait for the Supreme Court ruling tomorrow. Hussein Mohammed, KTN News, Nairobi.